they don't want sex. Okay, I, I, I totally enjoy sex. I'm not hunting for sex. You know, I have it. And because I feel the bank up of my wife of lots of points, okay, I know what she needs to feel really good. And in doing that, part of what it looks like for, for married men, been with your wife, there's just times when they're, they don't, they don't make sense to you if you don't understand women. They'll get upset about things that a man would never get upset about. He doesn't even see, you know, I'll, uh, you could be 10 minutes late for dinner. If it's a bad day for her, she might say, why didn't you call? You should have called. I was worried. You should, you know, am I not important to you? And then most men go, well, it was just 10 minutes. Or you give some other good excuse, a reason, you know, I was, I was giving a talk, you know, and the press was there. You know, there's, there's important reasons why you get late sometimes. But at that time when she says, why didn't you call? I say, I hear you. Next time I'm going to try better. That's it. I don't give excuses. I never give mm. excuses. You know, it's a very masculine thing. And I remember back in the days as a young guy watching Clint Eastwood movies and various cowboy movies, the woman always misunderstands the man and the man never explains himself. It was like, it's below yourself to write excuses. It, men have forgot. We, a lot of men haven't forgotten. They never learned masculinity. And you don't get angry at a woman. You never express anger at a woman. We've become so, mm. what do you feel? Express what you feel. What rea The reality is, historically, when men are angry, they're violent. And by the way, what's going on inside of anger is his testosterone levels are dropping and his estrogen levels are higher. See, this is all see, emotion, positive or negative, is estrogen. And estrogen is counterforce to testosterone. One of the few times when you can actually have super high testosterone and super high estrogen, which is the balance of your masculine and feminine sides, which is ecstatic, it creates ecstasy, is in making love. Think about in making love, you're completely a masculine, as long as you're hard, okay, you're hard, you're masculine, your testosterone is peaking at that point. And at the same time, you're making massive estrogen levels because you're feeling love for your partner. So that's what allows me to last. I can, you know, I playfully have given talks called the iron penis. Okay, so <laughs> I, I have to tell you this joke just for fun. I was giving a biohacking conference and I just happened in my hotel. There were three uh, iron men. So these three iron men and their wives. And so I was just sitting down. They didn't know me. I didn't know. We introduced. And finally, I was listening, learning about them as they told what all these great endurance things they can do. Then they asked me what I, well, what do you, what do you do, John? Well, I'm the iron penis. <laughs> but but I've, I've tested it out you know if you practice my high level of enlightened sexuality what what am i con i i heard about a Taoist master who could do eight hours and and, and the woman is she's constantly producing enough hormones so with my wife i did 10 hours just to, my competitive nature you know just and, and this is this is having advanced skills it starts with and i and i can give the first biohack the first biohack to be able to do something like that, not that I do it all the time. I really did it like running a race. But uh, if you're doing it every day, you just don't have time in the day. But the, the bottom line of it is it starts out with you no longer having sex for pleasure. Everybody, you know, I see all these books on how to increase pleasure, how to increase. It's good. It's the point of you is pleasure. What is the point of pleasure? Like if I eat a bowl of ice cream, what's the point of that? It's just pleasure, right? And, and then you get fat, all right? So... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're above pleasure. You know, I give treats to my dog. It's pleasurable for her. We are beyond that. So we ask ourselves, well, why then do we want sex? It's always I ask why about everything. Why do I want sex if I'm not an animal and my, or if I don't want to make a baby? 